A big mystery under the surface of an Arizona lake. Scientists say some of the fish living here could be more than 100 years old, older than most of us will ever live. And the big question now, how are they doing it? Our Kyle Simchuk tagged along with catch and release anglers and a researcher who are trying to unlock their secret. Apache Lake, a remote reservoir carved into the Superstition Mountains, holds something extraordinary. Something that could rewrite what we know about aging, longevity, and the resilience of life itself. <laughs> Swimming in these waters are some of the oldest living vertebrates on the planet. They've survived world wars, the Great Depression, the Atomic Age, and the dawn of the Internet. They are buffalo fish, and many of them are over 100 years old. And previously they are only thought to live like 10 to 20 years, but now we know they can live well over 100. They're just fascinating. Dr. Alec Lackman is a research professional at the University of Minnesota Duluth. His groundbreaking work on buffalo fish, which are native to North America but not Arizona, stunned the scientific community and fishermen alike. They, they accrue these spots, these black and orange spots, with age. And then later we also ended up finding that they're one of the longest lived freshwater fish species in the world. But Dr. Lackman's research in Minnesota was just the beginning. In 2021, he received an email that would lead him to Arizona and Apache Lake. Rub the belly, pat her on the side. Stuart Black is what you might call a citizen scientist, an angler with a passion for buffalo fish and a network of dedicated friends who share his obsession. The buffalo fish never really been on the angling radar here in Arizona. We've been catching the buffalo fish here for probably three or four years. And then I read Alex's amazing break groundbreaking uh, study in 2021, he mentioned about the specific markings and spottings on these really, really ancient old fish. And I thought, we've got the same markings on our fish. Literally within an hour of the email being sent, we had plans for a research project out here. To confirm their exact age, Lackman needed to look at their otoliths, or ear stones, which are responsible for the fish's sense of balance and spatial orientation. Like It's like just like aging a tree, where you count the growth rings. Fish are cold-blooded, so every cold season they go through, their metabolism slows way down, and it leaves a mark in that structure. But studying their otoliths and proving their true age came at a cost. We hate killing fish, right? We like to catch them for fun, put them back, and hopefully catch them when they get bigger. 23 Apache Lake buffalo fish were sacrificed for science that year. Their otoliths were removed and studied, and the fish, well, they were fried up. And little did we know that we were actually eating 100-year-old fish. And I gotta say, you would never know. They were amazing. The results of the study were also amazing. More than 90% of the buffalo fish caught and studied were over 80 years old. The oldest found in Apache Lake was a 108-year-old black buffalo fish. I feel like my anglers are the buffalo soldiers here. We, we are here to protect the buffalo fish. The original 420 that were in Roosevelt, there's some still alive today like Buffalo Gill. From the 30s, we had commercial fishermen fishing Roosevelt Lake and Saguaro and, Can and Canyon to a uh, little bit, but not so much Apache. The Apache Trail, um, it made fishing uh, and accessing Apache difficult. So it's kind of like a little Jurassic Park here, I like to call it. It's, uh, it's forgotten, it's enclosed, it's remote. Since that first sampling in 2021, Stewart and his fellow anglers have shifted to entirely non-lethal research. They catch the fish, photograph their unique markings, take a clip of their fin and samples of their protective slime, then release them, building a database of individual fish they can track over time. We have one fish, his name is Bond, and um, he's been caught six times, and he's still swimming out here right now. We might catch him tomorrow, and it'll be the seventh time. They aren't just living long lives, they're thriving in ways that challenge everything we thought we knew about aging. These fish are still advancing into prime condition. They're getting better with age as they're approaching 100 years old. Relative to those younger, like 20 to 30 year old fish, a 100 year old big mouth buffalo is more healthy than those younger ones. They may provide secrets to greater skin care. Uh, they may have, who knows, the secrets to fighting cancer. Uh, and that's why I call this, this uh, project Trillion Dollar Slime. We, d we don't know what we can pull out of this project. Stewart and his team who call themselves the Buffalo Soldiers are now fighting to protect these fish, but it's complicated. Currently, there are no special protections for buffalo fish in Arizona. 
and they can be taken in unlimited numbers. What I would like to see is this lake be given an, a world status, a, a, an opportunity to be a preserve for the century fish. From Apache Lake, Kyle Simchuk, 12 News.